All right, so in this video, we are going to be going over the Selkirk SLK Halo. Lots of people have been asking me what paddle I actually recommend and what I use. This is the paddle I actually use. In this review, I'm going to be going over who I think this paddle is for. So now let's jump right in. All right, Kaden and I just got off the court and we just demoed all four versions of the Halos. Right now we're holding in our hand the Power 13 millimeter XL and the Control 16 millimeter XL. And uh, off the bat, I just, obviously the design, they kind of upgraded it from the first version. Kind of got this, uh, what color would you say this is? Uh, it's like a saddle tan, but it's, uh, this guy didn't even know what a saddle tan color was. I know now, but that's right. Design's great, and off the bat for me, some perks about this paddle, we got a top spin, and we got good power, and, and really it's the touch and, and the feel for me. Uh, what were your initial thoughts, Ken? Yeah, like uh, like Jordan said, we have a 16 millimeter, and we have a 13 millimeter, and we, we both kind of customized it, added some lead tape to it to, to kind of get the feel that we thought we would like. Um, and off the bat, the first thing I kind of noticed was the 16 and the 13, believe it or not, really aren't that different. So for the 13 being called the power series and the, and the 16 being called the, uh, the more control, I would say the 16 is absolutely a control paddle, but I would say the power still has just as much feel, just maybe a little bit more power than, than, the, than the 16. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Kaden. I mean, between the three millimeters there, I think these are both great paddles for me personally. This, uh, the 16, millimeter XL the control paddle I think is probably my favorite just because my game is more touch and feel and uh you know resets are a big part of my game so I really like the control and the yeah I think I would say uh vice versa I want to play the faster game and uh I want a little bit more pop on the paddle now I will say the control actually did have some pretty good pop too um I think I just want a little bit more just consistently all over the paddle uh in terms of power yeah, and then one, one couple other um, things that I realized and, and noticed, uh, just, you know, you're gonna be experimenting with lead tape. I think without the lead tape, when I first got these paddles, I tried it without, and uh, the stability really wasn't there. And you'll see that with a lot of different paddles, but experiment with some lead tape. Uh, again, we put it on the bottoms and the tops, and it really stabilizes that paddle. Another thing about that's great about this XL is this really elong, elongated grip. So. For those two-handers. Yeah, for, yeah. The, for those tennis players out there that love their two-hander, use it a lot. I think this could be a good option. Um, the only downside is because it's longer uh, at the net, it feels a little slower yeah. compared to the max, which we'll be getting to. Right. No, I, I, I actually love the two-hand option. Um, the two-hander is something I like to, to kind of mess around with and try every now and then. So having that longer handle is always nice just to, I mean, you don't even have to have your hand on the paddle face. So... That's always great, but uh, but like you said, the maneuverability in terms of hand speed is is a little bit slower. You do feel like the paddle face is a little bit farther away from your hand, um, but if you're a tennis player, you're used to that feeling, so I think this is a really good paddle for you guys. Yeah, definitely. So if you never use two hands on any of your shots, um, I don't think this would benefit you that much, but it's still a great paddle. And the other thing I could say is because it's elongated, the sweet spot moves up a little bit further um, away from your hands. So I'll tell you wh where this really shown is is first uh, anything topspin. So dink volleys uh, or dink topspin volleys, swinging volleys, drives, and um, those kinds of things. What would you yeah. think? No, I was going to say the same thing. I really liked it when I was able to, I was hitting the fourth shot, you were hitting the third, and I was able to roll up at the kitchen line and try and add pressure to keep you back. I found really good spin and really good feel there. Um, I was just able to kind of roll it a little bit more, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, but I will say once I kind of got into the volleys, I just felt a little bit slower. Um, and I found that when I had a ball kind of here in my chest, I was getting more this part of my paddle instead of the sweet spot. So um, just an adjustment you have to make uh, for sure, especially since I am used to a shorter handle. Yeah. Um, this paddle did feel a little bit farther away from my hand. So as far as this paddle goes, great for tennis players, great for people who, you know, like to use that top spin roll. But yeah, super solid paddle. All right, now let's get into the max.
All right, so now let's hop right into the Max. Again, this is the Halo Control 16 millimeter Max, and this is the Halo Power Series Max. 13 millimeter. And uh, yeah, 13 millimeter. And the differences between these two, again, is just that three millimeters. And I would say the same exact thing, the difference between the first two is, you know, the difference is the same. Right. Right, the control, you know, the 16 millimeter is gonna give you that extra touch and feel. It's definitely gonna feel more cushiony on a recess and things like that. And that max is going to have a little bit more pop, a little bit more power. What I just found with the 13 millimeter max is the maneuverability is a lot uh, quicker. Yep. You know, it's noticeable, but um, you give and take on on control and power. Absolutely, yeah, no, I, uh, I actually liked, believe it or not, I liked the max more than I liked the XL. Um, yeah. And that was just because I felt faster, I felt quicker with it. The only thing I will say is because you are getting a little bit more hitting surface and a little bit more hitting face, you are also going to tend to find that maybe there's a little bit more mishit at the bottom or the edge of the paddle. Um, so when I was volleying, anything that was kind of in the lettering in here felt great. Anything that was kind of on the corners, which obviously you shouldn't be hitting those spots anyway, but it happens every now and then. I did find that even with the lead tape, you did get a little bit more mishit than the XL. Yeah, so again, for me, um, my choice out of all four of these paddles would be the Control 16 millimeter, uh, the Max. I actually started playing with the uh, the XL 16 millimeter. I loved it with my two-hander, but I've gotten used to uh, you know adapting my two-hander on the shorter paddle, and for me, it just makes my hands quicker at the net because, uh, you know, I get a little uh, less wind drag and things like that. So I'm really comfortable with this. This is actually my paddle of choice right now. A any other thoughts on the on the Max? Davis? Yeah, I really liked how I countered with this paddle. Like I said, the the hand speed does kind of slow, uh, slow up a little bit on the XL. So for the Max, I just really felt comfortable countering. Um, just because it's it's such a nice, easy, short handle to maneuver. Um, as far as that goes, my drops, I did feel like I had a little bit too much paddle for my drops, um, where I would have liked to have roll a little bit more. I was I was mishitting it a little bit more on, my, on this paddle. Um, but if I actually had to pick between the Max 13 and the Max 16, I actually liked 16 more. Um, just a little bit softer, a little bit more buttery. I like to say that, uh, you know, the thicker your paddle is, the more it'll feel like a softer pillow. Um, and I will say the 16 really absorbed the ball well. Um, and even this 13 absorbed the ball well, but I just, I don't know, something about this 16 felt really, really good. Yeah, so overall, again, this is my paddle of choice I'm using right now. And then the, uh, the Power Air is actually what you're using. We're going to do that in a separate video. But again, great paddle. So wh who do I recommend this to? I honestly recommend the Halo line to anyone that is like 2.0, super beginner, all the way up to 4.5, four, 5.0. Um, yeah. You know, in that 4.5, five, 5.0 five, oh range, I think if that's you and you want more pop and you want something a lot poppier, this may not be for you, but for everyone else. I mean, me as a pro level player, I use this currently. So yeah. um, I would say anywhere beginner, intermediate, this is a great starting paddle. I would actually go with the Max um, yeah. with XL, but it's totally up to you. If you're coming from tennis though, and you love your two-hander. You'll probably like I, that XL. You go to XL. Yeah. What, who would you say this is for? Uh, just, yeah, any, I mean, I would say a ping pong player, um, even tennis players. I mean, it's all about preference. Um, but that being said, the XL, I would say, okay, you play tennis. I would probably recommend that XL just so you can utilize your two-hander. You'd feel like it's more like a tennis racket. Um, but this one, this one is super solid for, like you said, anybody. Yeah. So again, uh, go ahead, check out the link below. We have a code for you where you can get 10% off. So it will save you money and also it will help support our channel. Lastly, these have a, a one year warranty, which is really, really good for a carbon paddle. So yeah, just check out the link below. Thanks for watching this review. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.